Hey friends and happy 4th of July weekend. Tonight I am celebrating here at the Magic Kingdom. I have dining reservations at the Liberty Tree Tavern. We're gonna eat some food, ride some rides, and watch some fireworks. So, uh, let's go do this. Today is July 3rd. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. Disney did announce they're not going to be doing any special fireworks, but I know Disney. They don't like to disappoint, but they love to surprise people, so anything can happen. Rumor has it, even though they're not doing any special 4th of July fireworks, they might actually do the 4th of July projections on the castle. And they normally do do that on the 3rd and the 4th. So, you know, we're just going to try to wish for the best. Can you hear that patriotic music playing right here next to the castle? There is actually quite a few things we can do in Liberty Square. We can ride the Liberty Bell, we can go on Haunted Mansion, and I'm excited for today. I'm excited for the whole weekend. It is a bit rainy out today and definitely some gray skies, but we've been having rain basically all week and Hurricane Elsa is making her way up through Orlando any day now. We're gonna start off with the Liberty Tree Tavern because that's the earliest I can get a reservation. It's a very popular uh, restaurant during the 4th of July weekend because everyone wants to eat there because it's the Liberty Tree Tavern. Looks like we get a little bit of the rainy day cavalcade too. Awesome! Oh, Mickey's in the rainy day one. Look at him! It's a good thing that we're starting off with the Liberty Tree Tavern because now it's starting to rain actually a lot more and we got here just in time. This restaurant is the definition of Americana from the restroom signs Take a look at that. To all the different presidential dining rooms, this place is the perfect place to be for the 4th of July. I actually tend to eat here almost every holiday. Like, it's great to come for Christmas. I think I eat here at Christmas, on Easter, and it's just so amazing. They even have, like, imitation candles as the lighting in here. I just love it. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? Looks like our table is ready and we're going to be dining in the George Washington room. How awesome is that? Most of the dining rooms are all different presidential dining rooms and I've only ever eaten in the Jefferson room so this will be my first uh, George Washington experience. This is the Thomas Jefferson room and they actually have blueprints of the White House over there and where we're dining today is the George Washington room. Look at that, isn't that awesome? The menu itself is family style dining, kind of like a skillet, and you're gonna get all the works. You're gonna get pork and beef and mashed potatoes, a good like traditional like 1776 dinner. And the only thing we have to decide on is something to drink. They do have beers and cocktails, and since it's the 4th of July weekend, I think I might get myself a good old Sam Adams. Oh, they actually have a Sam Adams seasonal. I love the fact that there's gonna be a George Washington picture behind me the whole entire time when I'm eating, and a nice little fireplace. Soft drinks are included in the price, and like I said, it's all you care to enjoy. It's $39, so I got a half and half, and then I've got my Sam Adams Seasonal, which is the summer ale, and we're gonna start off with a nice salad. Look at this. It's actually a very nice salad. Usually they give you like a family style, but they uh, just put it all in like one little plate for me. I feel kind of special. The salad actually comes with a house-made dressing, but what I really love are the dinner rolls that they have here. These are so good. And of course, I'm gonna save one to make like a little sandwich later on. I feel like I always have to do that. Maybe we can make like a turkey pork sandwich, like a little mini sandwich with the dinner rolls. I think that's a good idea. They also have some really good substitutions you can get. Normally it does come with mac and cheese, but I'm not a big fan of the mac and cheese here, or actually anywhere, so uh, I'm gonna get french fries instead, and that's not on the menu, you have to ask for it. And I hear if you get extra gravy, it's like a great like gravy french fries. They also have an impossible meatloaf that's pretty decent from what I hear. And uh, yeah, just all you have to do is ask to sub out things, and they're more than like accommodating. It's also good that we can have a good old Sam Adams while we're at the Magic Kingdom. Look at that. It's so refreshing looking, doesn't it? Can you see those bubbles? I'm not a big fan of the regular Sam Adams, but I love the summer ale. 
So, cheers. And now it looks like the patriotic feast is here. Look at this, we got french fries, turkey, pork, pot roast, stuffing, green beans, mashed potatoes, and a gravy boat. This is for the french fries, look at this, this is what I was talking about. Oh wow, <laughs> I am so excited. Honestly, I think this is the best gravy in Disney World. Like honestly, if you know any place else that has better gravy, this is it for me though, I love it. Now we're gonna dive into the meats though, and we're gonna start off with the pork. And the pork is definitely enough that you can just kind of cut with your fork without making too much of a mess. Oh yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. The gravy that I put on my french fries does not have mushrooms in it, so if you don't like mushroom gravy, you can always get that gravy instead. But I don't mind it a little bit on the pork. We'll find out. Here we go. The pork is delicious, and I like the gravy too. But now I think we're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of the turkey, and I like to get turkey, mashed potatoes, and stuffing all in one bite. That is my favorite right there. <gasps> Actually, we're gonna get a little gravy too. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of just just a little bit, just a little dab. Oh, too much, too much, too much. This is for you, George. That is so good. Oh, I love it. Now we're gonna dive into the pot roast here. Yeah, get a little pot roast. Oh, a little green beans at the same time. A little bit of both, huh? This is such a great feast, honestly. And for the price, it's not that bad, especially here at the Magic Kingdom. I mean, you get a big variety of stuff. It's a really nice place. It's really nicely well themed in here. And plus you get Sam Adams. I mean, it's like the best of both worlds. And there we go. Perfect. A little sandwich. <laughs> I can't be the only person that does this with their dinner rolls, right? I mean, I feel like there's a lot of other people that do it, but I love it. Here we go. That is so good. And like I said, it's all you care to enjoy. I can get another plate full or we can just get a little bit of turkey if we wanted to. But I don't think I need to. I'm pretty full. And plus, we still have dessert, which is going to be an amazing dessert. And as I said before, soft drinks are included with the $39 price tag, so that means coffee. So I might have a coffee with my dessert once I finish up my beer here. I mean, I'm kind of just enjoying it at this point. It's so delicious. And here we go. Ooey gooey toffee cake and then coffee. Oh, this is so good. And it goes together so well. I'm gonna add a little cream in there. Perfect. A little bit of the sugar. Not too much though, just a little bit, a little bit of sugar. Then we're gonna grab our spoon, give that a little twirl around. Actually, you know what? Maybe just a little bit of this. Oop. Just like Mrs. Doubtfire. This is so, so good, look at that. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna get a nice little bite. There we go. Much too good. I feel like this dessert gets better as the ice cream starts to melt. You know what I mean? It is so good though. And it goes great with coffee. The reason I put a little bit of ice cream in the coffee and I said kind of like Mrs. Doubtfire, if you ever seen that movie and you remember when she puts the, or he puts the pie on his face and he's pouring tea and he drops it down and he's like, how many darling, one or two? And it just cracks me up every time I get coffee, I think of that. Something really cool to point out is look at the wooden legs next to the fireplace in the George Washington room. Well, dinner was great, and now it's time to move along. Still very rainy out, so I think I'm gonna try to sneak over to the Liberty Bell or to the Country Fair Jamboree. Luckily, I've got my umbrella. Just shake it around a little bit, and there we go. I sure hope this rain stops before the fireworks tonight. Uh, oh, hey, how are you, friends? <laughs> As I was saying, I hope that the rain goes away before the fireworks start because uh, I watched the premiere of Happily Ever After or the welcoming back Happily Ever After and it was a pouring rainstorm and there was no Tinkerbell so I thought today might be a little different. We'll find out though. I'll still wait out. It's 
Fourth of July weekend. It's gonna be fireworks all day. Looks like a long wait for the Haunted Mansion, but there's nothing else going on right now. It's raining out and everyone's trying to seek shelter. So I guess I'll hop in line and then jump right into the ride. It's nice to be able to see that they have the pre-shows back. This is my first time. Or is it your imagination? Mm. To find a way out! <laughs> of course, there's always my way. I thought it would be maybe over by the time we got off the ride, but not looking too good here. We're gonna have to shake it off. Shake it off. Ha! <laughs> oh, it looks like the Liberty Bell is loading up. Oh boy, we're gonna try to make it. A nice little rainy ride on the Liberty Bell would be amazing. Last call, last call, no, 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 oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> That was amazing. We made it. Holy moly. Ha. Thank you. Definitely gonna wanna stay on the second floor here. Not too sure. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll go all the way up the top. We got an umbrella. Might as well. There we go. All the way up. Little rain's not gonna hurt us. This is great, look at this. We got the whole entire front of the boat to ourselves. I mean, it is raining out. Nobody really wants to be standing up here, but I'm keeping pretty dry. I got an umbrella, I'm fine. Look at those ducks down there. This is gonna be such a beautiful view. I mean, I really like the fact that it's raining out right now and we get to look at this. You notice something kind of strange too? I can see right through the water. Like I don't think I've ever been able to see through the water here. Can you see the track? If you know what I'm talking about, I don't want to ruin the magic, but I mean, you can see it. Holy moly. Hi friends. I kind of just realized that my hat technically holds the umbrella up so I can kind of have both of my hands free. Isn't that a little fancy? It's a little uncomfortable though. I feel like my head's, you know, slanted a little bit to the right. But yeah, at least I have both of my hands free. I wonder if Big Thunder Mountain is running right now. Usually most of the rides can ride during the rain. It's just the lightning that they can't uh, run on. And I don't see any lightning in there. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. The wettest ride in the wilderness. A lot of people don't know the girth of Big Thunder Mountain. Look how long it is. It is massive. Like, it is definitely a mountain. Oh look, there's a train. Looks like that train's out of control. And on the back here, they even have some docks. I wonder if anyone's ever actually been down there other than just to upkeep them. It'd be a cool place to have a photo. Also notice this track right here going all the way back there that's 
really, really awesome. I decided to come down to the bottom of the dock so we can get a good look at the Haunted Mansion. It's a good view from this ferry boat. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Everyone's all lined up to go on the Haunted Mansion. That was me not too long ago. That was a fun little ride. I'm happy that we caught it because I don't know if it's gonna go out again. The rain actually got a little bit worse. So now I think I'm gonna head over to Main Street USA and I wanna sit there and wait for a little bit. Now maybe they might uh, make the castle red, white, and blue. That would be really awesome. But uh, no fireworks, I don't think. What I mean by no fireworks, I mean no special 4th of July weekend fireworks. They're still going to have Happily Ever After as planned, but I really wish we could see just a little bit of a special ending, or like I said, even if they made the castle red, white, and blue, they might do that tomorrow because it's actually the 4th, and like I said, maybe I'll be here tomorrow. I'm happy Casey's reopened, and if I didn't eat at the Liberty Tree Tavern, I probably would get some Casey's, but I will get myself something to drink from Casey's because this I love. The frozen mint julep. I love it. I just placed my mobile order, so then I think I'm about ready. I don't think they have to prepare it. Yep, it's all ready, so I just gotta head on into uh, spot number two. This is what I'm getting right here. So amazing and delicious. They also have the baseball brownie. But what is your favorite thing to get here? I know a lot of people love the corn dog nuggies. Oh. Right here, my friend. Oh, excellent. Look at that. Perfect. I know it's not really like a hot day beverage because it's not really hot out, but this is so refreshing. I love this. Wow. So sweet and so minty. I love it. <laughs> I think I'll just pull up right here on this trash can and just enjoy my frozen lemonade. Stare at the castle. Looks like the rain is really stopping here. We might be lucky. We might be we might be good to go for tonight. It looks like everyone is getting their spots for the fireworks. It's just about uh, an hour. Yeah, so it's 8.15, it's 9.15 the fireworks start. And uh, yeah, the hub is pretty full. And I'm pretty sure we are gonna have a nice dry happily ever after tonight. Seems like all the rain went away. Oh, got a little proposal happening there. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Last time we were able to watch Happily Ever After in kind of like a uh, reserved viewing area. So tonight, I'm just gonna be right in the middle of things. Kind of like just tucked off to the side of Main Street. I don't like to be exactly right in the middle of Main Street. I like to be kind of on the sidewalk a little bit. And I don't mind, but it's definitely starting to fill in all the way. Only 30 minutes to go and almost not a spot to stand. On behalf of everyone here at the Magic Kingdom, we thank you for celebrating Independence Day with us today. In just a few moments, the sky above Cinderella Castle will light up with fireworks as we proudly present our nighttime spectacular, Happily Ever After. You can do better than that. I said, are you excited? Awesome. For your safety at this time, we do need everybody to be standing. Everybody needs to stand up and move forward, filling in any available space.
change by the way we live every day. Just look up and reach to the sky. We all have the courage to fly. It also looks like they did the front ones red, white, and blue as well. Take a look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Well, there you have it. We didn't get the 4th of July fireworks, but at least we got the stars and stripes on the castle. I am so happy, and I'm just happy we have fireworks in general. Do you know what I mean? Like, we weren't going to have fireworks for 4th of July two weeks ago, and now they're here. So I'm happy with Happily Ever After, and I was also happy to see uh, Tinkerbell come out of the castle. I'm happy there was no rain. It was really amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not too sure what I'll do tomorrow for the actual 4th, but this will be happening on the 4th and maybe some other festivities who knows but anyway i hope you guys have a safe wonderful fourth of july we'll see you next time bye